Your partner may outwardly seem indifferent about whether you stay in their life, but the reality is that they are just as affected by this no-contact situation as you are, if not more so. This relationship has been a significant part of both your lives, and the absence is palpable on both sides. You have always been outspoken, expressing your feelings openly because you believed in the power of communication to strengthen the bond between you two. You consistently advocated for discussing issues and emotions, believing that talking things out would only make the relationship stronger. This was a core part of how you approached the relationship, bringing honesty and clarity to every interaction. However, your partner had a different perspective. They believed that acknowledging someone's importance might make them vulnerable and thus relinquish their power. This belief led them to maintain a certain distance, hoping to remain in a position of control. But now, the tables have turned. They find themselves desperately wanting to communicate their desire for you. This no-contact situation is causing them immense anxiety, far more than they had anticipated. They are grappling with the realization that by prioritizing other things over the relationship, they severely damaged their chances with you. Recent events have brought many lies to the surface, lies that have further strained the relationship. These revelations have complicated an already tense situation, leaving both of you hurt and mistrustful. Your partner knows that initiating a conversation now means facing some very hard questions from you. They understand that you will demand honesty and explanations for the deceit and neglect. This prospect is daunting for them, yet they are driven by the need to mend the rift and restore the connection you once shared. In this period of separation, your partner has come to a profound realization, the feelings they hold for you are unique and irreplaceable. They cannot replicate these emotions with anyone else. This awareness has been a painful but enlightening experience for them. They feel a deep sadness in your absence, a void that no one else can fill. Initially, they believed they could find the same depth of connection with someone else. They thought they could recreate the bond they had with you with another person. However, despite being surrounded by many people who are drawn to them, they feel an acute sense of loneliness. No one matches your love, energy, and the unique connection you both shared. Your partner attracts attention effortlessly, people are naturally drawn to their charisma. Despite this, their feelings are reserved exclusively for you. They are not only attracted to you but deeply admire the way you think and handle things. Your strength, patience, and resilience have left a lasting impression on them. They have never met someone who embodies these qualities as you do. This recognition has led them to understand your true worth in their life. They are now determined to come back into your life, fully aware of the mistakes they made and the pain they caused. They understand that an apology is necessary, not just for the lies and deceit but for the way they took you for granted. They realize that they created a mess that needs to be cleaned up and they are willing to take responsibility for their actions. This time, they want to approach the relationship with a renewed sense of respect and appreciation for you. The absence of communication has given them a new perspective on the importance of being open and honest. They have come to see the value in the approach you always advocated, that real strength in a relationship comes from vulnerability and open communication. They are ready to embrace this perspective and make amends for their past behavior. Last night's conversation has been heavily on my mind, and I feel it's crucial for us to address the concerns that were brought up. It's not easy for me to put these feelings into words, but I believe that open communication is essential for the health of our relationship. Your mention of contemplating a break has left me feeling a mix of emotions, this realization is challenging to digest, and I want you to know that I value our relationship immensely. First and foremost, I want to acknowledge the courage it took for you to bring up such a sensitive topic. It can't have been easy, 
and I respect your honesty. Relationships, especially those that are meaningful, often come with their share of difficulties. It's in how we handle these difficulties that the true strength of our connection is revealed. Last night's discussion made me realize how much we need to focus on understanding each other's perspectives deeply. It's important for us to take a moment to reflect on what led to such thoughts of a break. I don't want us to rush to conclusions based solely on immediate emotional reactions. Instead, we need to delve deeper into what might have caused these feelings to surface. Are there specific incidents or patterns of behavior that have contributed to your contemplation? Understanding the root causes is essential for us to address them effectively. I am committed to working through any issues we may be facing. I believe in the strength of our connection and the potential for growth, both individually and as a couple. Over the course of our relationship, we have shared many wonderful moments and faced challenges together. These experiences have made us stronger, and I have faith that we can navigate through this difficult time as well. One aspect that I think is crucial in this process is to ensure that we are both heard and understood. Often, in the heat of the moment, emotions can overshadow the real issues at hand. It might be beneficial for us to set aside some dedicated time to talk, without distractions, where we can openly share our thoughts and feelings. This conversation should be a safe space for both of us to express our concerns without fear of judgment or immediate rebuttal. Relationships require effort, compromise, and effective communication. I am willing to put in the work to overcome the challenges we face. This means being open to feedback, making necessary changes, and finding ways to improve our connection. It also means recognizing and appreciating the effort each of us puts into the relationship. Sometimes, the pressures of daily life can make us overlook the little things we do for each other, which are often the glue that holds us together. If there are specific concerns or issues that you feel we need to address, I am here to listen and discuss openly. No issue is too small if it affects our relationship. Whether it's about how we communicate, spend our time, or any other aspect of our life together, I want to hear your perspective. Similarly, I hope you will be open to hearing mine. We might not always agree, but understanding where each of us is coming from can help us find common ground and work towards solutions that satisfy both of us. In addition to talking about the issues, I think it's equally important to remember and talk about what brought us together in the first place. Reflecting on our shared goals, dreams, and values can remind us of why we chose each other. It can reignite the positive feelings that sometimes get overshadowed by the day-to-day -day challenges. I believe in the potential for growth in our relationship. Personal growth and growth as a couple go hand in hand. We can support each other in becoming the best versions of ourselves, which in turn strengthens our bond. Let's consider how we can grow from this experience and become even stronger together. To move forward, let's find a time to talk in person and delve deeper into our thoughts and feelings. This conversation is too important to be rushed or conducted over text or phone. We need to see each other, read each other's body language, and connect on a deeper level. I am confident that through open and honest communication, we can navigate this challenging time and come out stronger.